If you've ever been in Florida in the summertime, uh, you might have noticed that in the afternoon you might have a thunderstorm pop up. And the thunderstorms are related to the difference in heating of the land and the water uh, that's nearby. And uh, so that can affect uh, the weather. And so this experiment, uh, experiment to heating of land and water from the middle school uh, with Vernier book, investigates this phenomenon. And we've done it a couple of different ways here. Um, in the pan, uh, we've got a temperature sensor here with some sand. This one has water in it. And here we have a lamp uh, with maybe a 100 watt light bulb or so. Um, and we'll end up turning it on. And uh, so when it's turned on, uh, the light can heat the water in the, in the land, in the sand there, and uh, we can see what happens to the change in temperature. Maybe the different substances cause a different temperature change there. Um, and then uh, the second part of the experiment um, is a cooling. And in here, there was some warm water, so it warmed up the sand and it warmed up the water. The temperature sensors were put in here and then they were removed from this warm water bath and set aside um, and to allow it to cool. And so let's take a look at the data. Uh, so the data here, um, we start off at about the same temperature. And in fact, you'll notice here that I have both of those connected to my iPad and it's, it's giving me a different temperature reading. Now, right now we're doing a short video and you won't really see much of a temperature change because if you look at the graph, this goes out for 20 minutes. And so it takes a little while to do this. Um, but if you look here, you'll see that these trials here, um, the, the lower one um, is, the, is the water. Um, so it's actually uh, heating at a, at a slower rate, and the upper one is the land. And uh, so this is the heating part of the experiment. And the experiment asks you to find out what's the initial temperature, what's the final temperature. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, one would be just to examine. Uh, you could actually just click down here and get an initial temperature. Uh, if you came up here to the very end, uh, click there and be able to get the final temperature. Or uh, you could go here and do uh, the statistics function and be able to get uh, the minimum and the maximum for each run. So that would tell you the temperature change. Uh, and so this is the data for trial one, um, the heating curve, and then uh, the data for the um, trial two. Let's see, we want that one. And uh, so let's uh, we'll look at just that one. Okay, here we go. So uh, here we have the cooling curves, and we see that indeed uh, they are a little bit different. And so you'd use that same process to be able to go to uh, analyze that data. So again, this experiment is looking at the difference in the heating of land and water uh, and how it may affect the weather.